Well, I'm absolutely worried and anxious about this project. I've been commissioned to make an abstract painting. Who'd commissioned me? I mean, I'm not even an artist and I'm certainly not good enough to be doing this, but they have and I've accepted the challenge. I think I'm going to do two so they can choose whichever one they want. Now, the brief is they want it bright with really bright colours and abstract and floral. <laughs> Just... So I thought I'd do a yellow background and I'm going to do deep yellow cadmium, I think it's called. And all I'm going to do is pop that on there like that. So it's not just one flat colour. And then I'm going to use a studio or a bright yellow throughout the rest. And to put that on, I'm going to use a sponge. Make sure I get all down my sides and everywhere. I am so nervous about this. I mean... Why would anybody in their right mind commission me to do a painting? I think I'm going to put a little bit more of this darker yellow into it into some places. Just to set it off a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to leave that to dry now because I want the base to be dried before I do anything else. While that one's drying, I'm going to do the background for this one. And I'm going to do virtually the same thing. But I'm going to be, instead of using two different tones of yellow for this one, I'm going to be using yellow and red because that will make an orange. May have to put some more into this. More yellow at the end, but we'll see. I wish I had the confidence just to know what I, well, I know what I want to do. I wish I just had the confidence just to do the one. But I just don't. This makes me much more happy and feel less stressed about doing this. I like that. I, we, I want it to have a little bit more yellow in it. So I'm going to put a bit more yellow here and there. So it's not quite as heavy on the red. Yeah, I like that. So what I'm going to do is allow those both to dry before I do the next bit. Well, I'm ready to put the next layer on and this is where I'm getting really nervous. I've got my three colours. I'm going to be using a light green, a dark green and a white for this. And what I hope to do is... Get that on my brush like that and then put my brush onto here like this and bring it around like that. And then pop my colour on so I've got bits coming off it like that. I need to go down the sides as well. And all I'm doing is as I'm going around I'm just moving my brush around to give me those kind of shapes. And then I can just go in where I need to for some of the other colours, give it a bit more movement. I need a bit more there. I think it picked up too much of the dark there. So I'm putting in a little bit of lighter here and again there. Okay, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And I'm going to do something very similar on here. Not necessarily exactly the same pattern, but similar. Then I'm going to run some lighter through it as well and some darker in different places and again I'm just going to move this around onto the edges and then let that dry for the next stage well these are dry enough now for me to do the next stage and I've blown some balloons up I've got three in different sizes because I'm going to do a balloon smush on these and again I am so nervous about this and what I'm going to do is put some puddles down onto where the green is three should be enough i'm starting with red here because i've got a yellow background and all i'm doing is pouring a little bit into the middle a bit of white i mean you can't say these aren't bright a tiny bit of blue in the middle and then in the middle of that i'm going to put a little bit of black not too much at all. And this is where I'm going to take the balloon and smudge it into the middle and see what happens. That's come out quite pretty. A bit too much black and a bit too much blue there. I'm going to wipe that balloon off. But there are some cells appearing on it and I'm quite happy about that. That is quite nice. I'm going to leave those cells. Now I'm going to do a smaller balloon here. Okay, there's maybe a bit too much white on that one. And then the other balloon on this one. And then I don't want these perfect circles, so what I'm going to do is just go in there like this with a little palette knife and bring some of that out like that. Love those cells that are appearing. There we go. I'm just going to go over this with a torch and burst any bubbles. And hopefully if there's any more cells going to appear, that should bring them out. There we go. Right, I'm going to leave that one to dry. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one, but in a different order. This time I'm going to start with the yellow rather than the red, obviously. Oh, look how much mess I'm making. I suppose it would help if I didn't have that bit hanging from it. I can't have four. I'm going to have five time then we'll go red bit of white bit of blue and then a tiny bit of black in the middle and again go over it with the balloons pushing down a bit of a twist lifting up down bit of a twist lift up 
Pushing down, bit of a twist, lift up. More on this one, but it doesn't matter. We'll give those a few seconds to do whatever they've got to do. I'm going to try and remove these dots without hopefully leaving too much behind or messing it up. Right, that'll do. And now I'm going to go through it again, same way as I did before. If I'd have had my paints a bit thicker, I think it would have been a bit more mushed up. But I, these were quite runny paints from a pour I did. But I don't mind, I like it. You know, I'm not disliking it. And it's all in the proof is all in the pu pu puddin'. The proof is all in the puddin' once it's um, dry, isn't it? Give these a bit of a torch. Okay, and now I'm going to leave those two to dry and I'll show you what they look like before I varnish them. Because they want them glossy, so they're going to be varnished in a gloss. So these are nearly dry now and what I'm going to do is put a little bit more of some colour in, but not using paint. What I'm going to be using are these Spectrum Noir illustrators. And all I'm going to be doing is going around and putting some bits in like that all over the painting. In no real set pattern. I just want to put some more bits in to give it a little bit of interest. And these will be fine once I gloss varnish this. Now I'm not going to gloss varnish it for at least another week. I want to give it a bit more time to ensure that it's dry. Although it's not going to matter too much because I did only use acrylic paint and not any silicone or anything like that on the picture. I think that just gives it a nice little background. And then once I've done that, I'm going to use a slightly lighter pen here just to go through and bring it in in places. Give it that extra lift, really. I'll do that on both the pictures. These are all dry enough now and I can put a gloss varnish on them. I've signed them. It's the first time I've ever signed anything, I think. And all I'm using is a gloss varnish here and a wide brush. Now I want to go over them quite quickly because this stuff dries really quickly. And I'm going to give them three coats to make sure that I've got a really nice glossy finish to them. Let that dry for a couple of hours and then give it another coat. The next coat I'll do, I'll go that way on it and then I'll go that way for the final coat. And then I can show you what they look like and show the person who's commissioned them what they look like too. Very nervous. These are all finished. I'm really pleased with them and I've hung them up on my back wall of my studio to show you what they look like. <laughs> I've shown both of them to the person that asked me to make these and expecting them to either say mm, not what I want or to choose one and they liked them both and have taken both of them and decided they wanted both of them which is a really big surprise for me. They're bright enough for them and they're exactly the sort of thing that they wanted for where they're planning to put them. I can't wait to see what they look like hung up in their house. It just goes to show you don't have to be a superb artist, you don't have to be brilliant for people to love your work and what other people see in your work you might not see or other people might not see but just keep persevering. This has inspired me to move along more of a botanical theme with a couple more pictures that I've got planned so keep an eye out for those. Check out the video that I've got coming up next on acrylic pouring. I think you'll love that if you want to see how I get to this stage. Links to everything that I've used today are in the description below. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye!